For the sixth night in a row, angry protesters clashed with police. Tens of thousands of Peruvians marching the country's main cities. At least two protesters died and several were wounded. The demonstrators are demanding that interim president Manuel Merino leave now. We're fed up with this situation. Merino out. Protests erupted after former president Martin Vizcarra was impeached and removed from office last Monday. Peruvians questioned the legitimacy of the new government. Daniela Cárdenas is angry because of the 105 lawmakers who voted to unseat Vizcarra, 68 face criminal investigations from homicide to fraud and money laundering. We are the country, not those 68 congressmen, and the evidence that they've made an arbitrary decision is there. They perpetrated a coup and we will not allow it. Protesters say Merino and his allies stole the government and are now making up excuses and not taking responsibility for the spiraling crisis. What is happening is that people are protesting because they've been confined in their homes for so long because of the pandemic. The political crisis escalated on Saturday. Several ministers of the newly inaugurated cabinet resigned, and members of Medino's own Popular Action Party, the mayor of Lima, the interim Congress president, and the party spokesperson, all demanding his resignation. Experts say lawmakers created the crisis and now they have to find a way out. They say it is likely Merino will be unseated and they'll name a new interim president to calm the anger among millions of Peruvians. Experts say a new interim president should be a legislator from the ranks of those who didn't vote to impeach Vizcarra and especially amongst those who don't have a criminal investigation pending. Mariana Sánchez Al Jazeera, Lima, Perú.